Good morning and welcome to our whole school virtual assembly. Can I start by saying I hope you've had a fantastic half term, that you're able to make the most of the new freedoms we've been provided with, although limited, and that you've been able to make the most of the fantastic weather we've enjoyed. Welcome back to Wyvern Academy's remote learning and our virtual work over the next seven weeks of the new half term. Can I also say well done and thank you for the way in which before the half term break and I'm sure throughout the half term break you have followed the government guidance to stay alert to help to control the virus and help to save lives. As I said we've seen changes in the lockdown conditions and this has meant that it's never been more important than it is today and has been over the last week to follow those social distancing guidelines to stay two metres apart and so protect yourself and protect others. This will become more important as lockdown changes and you're able to go to new places and meet with new people. So please do follow that social distancing guidance to stay two metres apart and by staying alert, help to control the virus and help to continue to save lives. And I want to say well done and thank you for the way in which you've engaged with our remote learning in the week leading up to our half term break. Your teachers have said how incredibly impressed they've been by the way in which you've engaged with the opportunities we provided and acted on the feedback they've provided for you. I know it's a difficult period and I know that working remotely doesn't suit us all in the same way. But I really do want to say well done and thank you for the way in which you've engaged with it and the way in which it's supporting your learning through this strange and unprecedented time. So well done and thank you. And can I say a particular thank you to those people, those pupils that have been nominated for hot chocolate with the head. Nominations have been provided for Kira, for Holly, for Nicole, for Jack and for Ellie for the way in which they've engaged with our remote learning and taken the opportunity to really drive their learning forward. So to the five of them, congratulations. And once again, to all of you, well done and thank you. Each of these virtual assemblies has a theme and a theme based upon the week ahead. And what could be more important in this week ahead and on this day, Monday the 1st of June, that I focus on starts and new starts in life. Because Monday the 1st of June is not only the start of a new month, it's also the start of a new season. With summer, the meteorological summer, starting today, Monday the 1st of June. And as we know, our meteorological seasons in summer being June, July and August. So we're not only starting a new month, but also a new season. And those two things coincide and fall for us at the start of a new half term. And so I thought it was important to focus on new starts, what we can gain from them and how we can make the most of them. And those three things combine with, for you, a new focus, a new opportunity on our remote learning. Before we broke for the um, half term, we can communicated and talked to you about the new opportunities that were going to be provided, how our remote learning was changing and the focus of that. And it's never been more important to take the opportunity to use our new starts, the first of a month, the start of a new season, the beginning of a new half term and a new focus and opportunity with our remote learning to make the most of those opportunities provided for you. And by taking those opportunities, it allows us to reflect on the remote learning you have done so far. When we joined this remote learning, when we closed the school, when we moved to a lockdown position, this was new to all of us. Some of us have found it more difficult than others. Some of us have adapted to it more easily than others. But for all of us, it's been an unprecedented period. So the new start provides us with the opportunity to focus and reflect on the remote learning you've done so far. Things that have gone well and how you can improve them even more and things that didn't go as well as you would have wanted 
and how you can change those. Don't forget we learn more from the failures we make than from the successes we have. So take this time to reflect on your remote learning and drive forward with the new focus and new opportunities ahead of us. Because as you know, the focus of, of our remote learning from today onwards is preparation for your new academic year. You'll be looking towards September, if that's when we come back to school, in whatever way that looks, to prepare for the new academic topics, for the new academic subjects, if you're in year nine, moving into options in year 10, and for pupils who are in year 10, to focus on preparation for your exams in the summer of 2021, and revising um, and working towards those qualifications. This really is a focus and an opportunity to prepare for that new academic year. And it's key that over the next seven weeks, before we break for the summer, whatever that summer break will look like, that you take this opportunity to get ahead. You will never again have such an opportunity. You'll never again be provided with the chance to look at what you've done and how you've done it, to reflect, to prepare for the academic year ahead and to make the most of the time available to you. As we enter this new season, this summer season, summer is known to be the season of growth. The weather's improving, we're getting a huge amount of growth in our gardens and farmers in their fields and this is an opportunity throughout this season for you to grow to reflect, to prepare and to use that time to grow in preparation for the new academic year. And if you do that by preparing now, you'll be able to reap those rewards from September onwards. We don't know what school will look like from September. It may be that not all of us return in September or certainly not all of us return in the way in which we're used to. But by making the most of the seven weeks we've got ahead of us before the summer break, it allows you to prepare now and so reap those rewards in September. This is your opportunity to seize that chance. So seize the opportunity provided for you, day in, day out, with no excuses. And make the most of our new remote learning to prepare for your academic year ahead and to take that opportunity, seize that moment, day in, day out, with no excuses. Have a fantastic week ahead. I hope you enjoy the new remote learning focus and that you're able to engage with it and make the most of the opportunity it provides. And I just want to finish by saying, as the government reduces the level of lockdown, as things change, Please do take care and continue to stay safe. It's never been more important to stay alert and to follow that government's gu government guidance over social distancing. Please stay two metres apart to protect yourself and to protect others. So over the following week and in the weeks to come, take care and stay safe.